Welcome back everybody to another vlog. So in today's video I will be taking a trip down to Grand Spen. You remember that community that the highway cut off in St. Thomas? Yes, we are going down there to hear some of the residents concerned about the big drain that is just around the corner of this hill up here and also the development of their community. So watch as we uncover some of these things that are happening in the community so currently we are just heading down to meet some of the residents in the community you can kind of see them in the distance up ahead So in a bit we are going to stop and talk to the residents, I did not video that part and they were telling us about the dream and how it is affecting the community so we head around there to see the dream. Yeah man, so they are grand spend today. Well, go and look for some of the residents then issue, especially this are the main one that drain here. This is issue. Can you see? It has come from all the way up top, come down, come right this way, and come round, and go right this way straight down to the community. Also, straight through the hole. But we are going up top, we are see what going up there. All of the machine gone. All of the machine gone. So we know and know we can expect rain flood at any time. At any time. So you know that we got this and say we have a block the government and we are still this and that to make it so good. Good afternoon, Corporate Jamaica. Um, I'm Delio Hendricks, Assistant PRO of the Association of Grand Spen. And we have a lot of concern about um, the development of the draining system from the highway um, coming through the community. Um, the other day when the, um, the, 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 um, the flood came and the, rain, the weather came, we have um, a lot of problem with um, the breaking down of the, of, of the draining system that, this, that um, the China Harbor set and thing. And um, they came back um, weeks ago to, um, to do over back um, some of the, the, um, the, the drainage. But what happened is that they left it um, premature. As you can see around here, um, there are a lot of unfinished work done. And um, all of this unfinished work um, is going to affect the community in a significant way. You understand me? But what we need is that uh, we need someone to come in and come and assess the problem and see in which way they can help us to um, get everything in the right order. You understand? Because they came with the machinery and started the, um, the project and uh, I don't know what happened. They moved um, every, all of the equipment them and take it back maybe to Marambi. I don't know. So uh, we just need answers and just, we, we, we need this thing to be um, dealt with in a, in, in a proper way. Because as you can see, all of uh, what is here is, uh, is uh, very hazardous. You understand me? And we have to think about um, the life of kids, female, elder, elderly people and, and others in the community. And the next thing is that um, the drain that they set, it actually um, stopped partway um, as, um, to enter the community. We don't have a drain system um, to take the water through the community and out of the community. And that is one of our biggest issues right now. 
because as you can know Grand Spain is actually a water log community because we are situated on a, on a swamp area you understand me so we have um, set proper um, facilities so um, the water can be taken away and maybe back to the um, to the beach or something so that is one of our main issues right now so as you heard a while ago the drain is not made properly it's poor quality and it's currently disintegrating and a lot of it is being eroded as time goes by i know that because of lack of catchment especially like right here we see this person walking if a big rain comes and starts to flood all of that is going to go down in the community i'm going to give you some different views from up top so you can see the different damages along the drain so right here you can see that a lot of the silt from the sides of the hills are washing out and coming into the drain and clogging it which is not really ideal because i know that the water won't be able to channel properly through that drain and i have a video i can show you of the water coming down but it's not in the drain it's on the side because it cannot go into the drain so i will show you that soon You see this now? This is something where them build to carry the water go to the water. Over there, so you see that young lady. Look where the water run now. And look where the, look where the water run. So sometimes when we believe, say, the Chinese, they might build the road the proper way. They maybe have built the road the proper way, but I look, you know, the water now going at that no 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 at all now. That's where it has come from there. That's where it has come from. So this is the part that I just showed you a while ago that they videoed when the rain was falling. Now it's kind of a bit clear because they came the same day and did some clearing of the drains but it still needs to be fixed. So you can see that right here, there's no catchment for the water. So you know that if it don't go over to where this train is that they just made, it's gonna go on the road and straight down in the community. Like what is happening here. I don't know how I sign this.
but we are seeing that line that is channeling towards the sea that's where the drain should go so it should follow this part but because everything is not done properly that's not the case the water is going into the community and not where they wanted it to go So, mm -hmm. right back so, on. so mm -hmm. where we where we are tell them say like oh them get the material and we na sell them the material out of the community. Where we are tell we tell them say now say we go the material and then you know, we develop a part of the community for we so we can have a community center. So come back. When them take with all of that, this never did stay so you know where they when the flood them come and them try to say all right them a use an excavator to clean this. So by cleaning this, as you say, it will pull up back. Pull up back already. So when this pull up back and it come up to road level now, you know, say up on the road back it will one. So now I'm going to have them for concrete, then have them for concrete this. You look out out this now. It will be a better, it will be a better idea. Yeah, because it pull up again. Yeah, you make a proper thing. Come here, you shovel and clean it at times. You understand me? Yeah. See, the water trapped through there, so anytime it pull up, and can't get no more. We run. See it, eh? Can't pull up and can't get no more place to run. You know where it's going to go. It's come from here, so. Come straight down in our community. Yeah. So, this is how them look, you know. And I'm going to show you the... I'm going to show you the... There is something there. I'm going to show you the entrance where it come out to. So the water come out too. And as far as where it come out too, it just come out and just head fit in the community. So, that's how them leave this. This one now, that are the material we give them. Over there, that are the material the community give them to develop a, a center in the community for it. And then, nothing. So, you can walk and we show you the... The lead out down here. This is where the mateship drain actually stopped. They realize there's nothing, there's no, nothing, no technical to get the water and take it to the community. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. I'm not going to so When the water reaches you, you're going to scroll back and I, I create the same problem. That, that that was there before. So it can so, go, yeah. it can go as well as cross here before so the water come. As yeah. you can see, if it come two years, so obviously if it have no way to go, it can go two years. Yeah, because you know water yes, still. Yeah. You understand? If the water yeah. come with a certain amount of force. Okay. So this are the, the drainage where they make. Right here, so the water continue and it'll go. And it can go. Is that the if, whole of them yard up on the side there? Yeah. I go flood out. This is an house on the station right now. Can yeah, the understand. water lose control right now, it can take away this house easily. What? Because yeah. the last time the water um, came, you can see the water channel now. Came through this yard already now. Right through here. It came already. You understand me? Right through here and through the fence right here. You understand me, so. So, this is where the problem really lies right here you now. So, this are the culvert where all the water and all everything where I come from up here, so. Supposed to come through this culvert. Well, have you see? And look how this there. There's no culvert here. Nothing, nothing really let out no water. So the water will divert from the culvert and go all the way back from the road now. And when the water go, it rises, it can't go up the hill enough. So it come right back into the community. So this is one of the biggest problems. The culvert where they here saying are from in the 60s. So it's a little culvert. So this need to take out. Then the water was supposed to come off of the hill. It's supposed to come and then divert and go over underneath the road and go over there. So if the water now go in the culvert here, so for it go under the road for come over here, so we are gonna have a problem. So a problem over there. So the water from there, so come across. Supposed to come out, the culvert supposed to come out, put in a bigger culvert. Yes, already black up as well, too, as you see. Yes, already black up. So, 
No, we don't have nothing to let out no water. So all of them big drainage system where we are showing you from them time that till now. See there? Eh? All of this black up. Nothing there there, so for let out no water. So if we don't have nothing to let out no water, water will come right back into the community. So once it come back into the community, we're going to have problem. We're going to have flood. We're going to flood out. So. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's a flood out already. You understand? So we have a big problem here. Two, maybe people are traveling from the front part of the road and now look back in the community for so we are going with the community. So we're already showing the drainage. We're showing this problem, that problem. Nobody not here for stand up for us, but we, we in our community. So instead, I will stay here and join up. We'll bring the news team, CVM, RGR. Yeah, so we'll just bring everybody to make them see. It's our problem. Yeah, so I did join with them, make From a long time, right at the 70s, 60s. So, it's a little small drain that, you know. See, it was something bust come across here the road. Come all the way. See, there's no water now going in the Calvert. No water at all. See the Calvert that where they, where they made up? The Calvert that where they made up from Langa White. See there? Eh? No water now going in that. See where water run go there? Round the road and then it pull up. Pull up and come back and run back in our community. See that tractor there and it still not solve the problem. See that so that that, that now when, when the rain falls, the water now going into the swamp either because it wants something for birds to go inside our swamp. Yeah, so I've all that way we show now, this is what we have planned. We do now with the community now. We're trying to set up a community center for the kids, most of all, because them say the youth are the future. Our future is going along part ahead of us. So we have to develop for the youth them now. So we've been getting promise from China about when them even actually did I go do the road, them say all right, they oh, they, they must going to give us a community center, they leave and gone. It caused for a flood to come. So when the flood come, then then came back here. So when they came back here now, we actually asked them if we can get the equipment them to do, do all of this, we try to dump up and stuff. They say, yeah. Get the complex ready. Get the complex ready. So we're happy now, they, them actually, I said, they want back the equipment. We actually give them back the equipment. Now they say before the new year they would come and finish us, finish up the, the, the thing for us. They don't come back all now, they sign our agreements. Who have the paper? They sign us our agreements with, with, with a piece of paper, a contract, say yeah, they will come and do it. But up to today they, they don't come back all now. Get the paper with me. Let me show the man outline something to him. Yeah, so I want hurry up. Give me any one of them. Oh. Yeah, so this this is a contract. This is a contract what they signed from China Harbor and I think the council caretaker as well. So we had to this cut paper. the interview short there so, because the rain started to fall very heavily and we could not continue. But as you can see the residents have some major issues in the community. And I hope the relevant authorities come out to address these issues, especially the one with the community centre. That would greatly impact them because I know that children are going to school, they can go over there and use it as an area to be more productive, which will better help the community. But that's all for now. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more and click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.